Mike the Middleman Check, and today we're actually talking uh, about Under the Underground. Uh, I wrote the movie and also played a part in it uh, as Mike the Middleman Check, not a big stretch. Um, but today we're talking about uh, the process and showing some behind the scenes. Um, I actually took this concept from my cousin who had an album called Under the Underground Rookie Debut. All right, Bella, one more time. Start I'd like to drop something for continuity. It, it was the guys, and then it was the, um, I love hip hop. No, no, it don't everybody. matter. We're not doing sound. Oh, y'all not doing No, that. no. Oh, okay, no, no, no. I, I, I got it. All right, go ahead. Go ahead, yeah, yeah, Bella. From the top, from your uh, action. Guys, I miss hip hop. Everyone misses hip hop. But it's, it's banned. It's no longer accepted. Officer side sinks. I actually like the layers that he had as far as breaking down what the underground was and it was like you had your mainstream who are you know everybody that knows your underground who people kind of know but they're on the way to the mainstream and then you had your under the underground uh, people that are trying to uh, come up and be noticed so I grew up in an era where hip-hop was basically you know forbidden deemed like the worst music ever the culture was pretty much you know being deemed the worst music ever parents were pulling tapes out of, you know, the kids, uh, you know, uh, backpacks and, rep, you know, running music, breaking CDs, big rallies and things like that. And now hip-hop's kind of the good guy, super accepted, is in, you know, f sports arenas and it's one of the top generated music, top stream music and things like that. But uh, I kind of want to take it back when it was the bad guy again and I want to take it to an extreme. So when I wrote the story, uh, I took my cousin's concept of being under the underground, kind of like trying to come up and I kind of just took it as far as possible and uh, basically hip-hop is now illegal and you can only perform it, you can't listen to it uh, any of the elements, DJing, graffiti art, b-boys, uh, emceeing, knowledge, you can't do any of that and if this organization, it's a shadow organization so we don't know if it's like uh, who was backed by but they basically have the authority to come in and uh, you know kill you, punishable by death over there, it's got like a little bit of a Okay, ready? Yep. I gotta wait for G13 to work. Oh, do you? I'm yeah. old. <laughs> we got a little ways over there, so he's gotta. So, taking um, kind of a spin on today's current events. You know, there's a lot of things going on in today's current events, like, you know, uh, freedom of speech and uh, things like that. So <clears throat> I kind of want to take a play on that uh, freedom of speech, you know, where, you know, hip hoppers are no longer allowed to express uh, themselves through the culture. Um, and then there's this shadow organization that's going by and hunting them down and, uh, you know, killing them on sight. Um, I think it was a cool process because it's kind of crazy to have an idea in your head and then you write it down and then you see a team of people that come together and I, I appreciate the team that came together and really put this together but you see a team of people come together and they bring that vision that's in your mind onto an actual uh, platform you can actually see it um, I've watched you know the final version of it at least a thousand times but uh, the process of seeing everybody come together and writing the movie and uh, you know filming the movie uh, getting a director Michael Santana had did his thing uh, you know, um, taking my cousin's story, which I like to do in our business. I like to take a lot of our old stuff that we did in the beginning and reincorporate it into our current business. Sound? Sound speed. Action. You the new legends? Yeah, yeah. Yo, man, thanks for reaching out to us, too. You know, super sketchy out here. Yeah, man, we're trying to throw this show, and we need all the elements of hip hop to come through. And we need a DJ. Nah, man, I can't help you guys. You see when they did the DJ Fingers last week, man, he wasn't even playing the show. He was just mixing in his basement, and they made an example of him, so I'm not going to be able to help you guys. You got a G13, man. We knew it was going to be an issue anyway. Keep looking. Wait, you're G13? Yeah, that's me. You were under the underground? Yes, sir. So the society's real, then? You know it is. We're trying to put, bring this hip-hop back. We need all, all the elements to come through. We need a DJ, not any DJ, man. We need you. I'm in, man. I'm definitely in. Cut that. I actually wrote the script a little open-ended. Um, I didn't want to get too much in the dialogue. I really wanted the actors like Ed and Bella 
uh, to go in and kind of put their input on it as well or you know put their feel on it and I think that helped out a lot you really during the production we saw a lot of people um, get together and you know huddle and figure out how the characters would react and how they would do things and I thought that brought more life to the movie than just me writing uh, basically you say this or you say that I think them putting their input really elevated the film to something new so this was our behind the scenes look we went ahead and uh, captured some behind the scenes video uh, we're doing this on the film festival, so I want to give a shout out to everybody that was involved, you know, um, especially our director, Michael R. Santana, Urge 7, my cousin G13 for letting me use the concept, uh, you know, my mom, my sister helped me uh, do uh, corrections and pronunciations on the script. Uh, it was a very cool process of getting everything together. So, everything? Cool. Camera's rolling. Camera rolling. That humming sounds awesome. <laughs> yeah, it blows. Okay, Action Legends. Action J. Hey, yo, fellas. Word is shows some compromise. Uh, very cool process of watching it together. I hope you guys really enjoy this film. It's one of our first of many films. We're going to do uh, lots of different hip hop oriented movies you do know rocking a mic is against the law now don't you yeah we're doing this for the passion of hip-hop anyway i say we say fuck the rules man the underground lives on you've been found guilty of the rhythmic american poetry act and the penalty for that Smoke? I'll smoke your black ass right now.